Hello guys, Josh Fab here with Wild Cat Outdoors. As you can see, I have built a forge, and this is, um, I, uh, two years ago I built a small forge, I built, I dug pit, had like a little, um, inflatable mattress fan blowing the air, and I made a flint striker, it didn't really work out, and so I decided to redo that and to actually make a blacksmith shop. And as you guys can see, I have a hand crank forge right here. I'm not sure if it, if I got it in a shot. I'll certainly get footage of that. I um, have a forge here. I have a sledgehammer head that um, I have used for that I'm using for the anvil hammer, um, and a couple other things, a stash of wood. And today we're going to be finishing. And ads. This is a primitive, primitive stock, primitive style ads, and as you guys can see. And I did some grinding on it, and we're gonna take it to the forge. We're gonna get off all the shine. I want a forge finish on this, so we're gonna take off um, like the ridges and stuff. We're just gonna dress it up, um, make the curve a little nicer on the ads, and then we're going to do the heat treat for it. So, and then polish it, polish the edge up. So, stay tuned and don't go away. Okay guys, so now what we need to do is find our is take our billet, find it first, and what I'm gonna do is just smack down some of these coals. Now I'll probably move this yeah away. 
I want the really hot coals. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it like this. I'm going to bury this thing in the coals. And just have the edge overhung and then scrape some coals. I'm forgetting my other glove. And then we're going to scrape some coals on top and until we get to near the edge. learned something on how to make this wonderful ads here. It's nice and sharp and I'll be making a handle for this. I'm not sure if I'm going to make a video. I might. Um, but yeah, turned out good. Heat treat went well and took an edge. This was made out of a lawnmower See you in the